This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Welcome to the MCTV News Update. I'm Udia Bicomo. Quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, is set to give the commencement address for the May 2020 graduating class. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the traditional commencement ceremonies held at the United Supermarkets Arena have been canceled and virtual commencement ceremonies will begin streaming at 9 a.m. on Saturday, May 23rd instead. Mahomes, a quarterback at Texas Tech from 2014 to 2016, along with students Alicia Goodman earning a doctorate in fine arts and Kira Ennian and in a bachelor's degree in human sciences, will address the graduates at the ceremony. On Wednesday, City Bus will launch its new service, City Bus On Demand. According to a news release from the company, City Bus On Demand is a microtransit pilot project meant to better serve the Lubbock community during the COVID-19 pandemic. The project was designed to fill in the gaps of hourly fixed route services. Riders can book a time to be picked up and share a ride with others who are headed in the same direction. A City Bus On Demand mobile app will be available for download in the App Store and Google Play. And same day bookings can be made through the app or by calling 806 712 2000 extension 236. The service will run from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., Monday through Friday, and is open to the public. The first coronavirus vaccine to be tested in people appears to be safe and able to stimulate immune response against the virus, according to manufacturer Moderna. The findings are based on results from the first eight people who each received two doses of the vaccine starting in March. Those healthy volunteers made antibodies that were then tested in human cells and were able to stop the virus from replicating, the key requirement for an effective vaccine. The levels of the so-called neutralizing antibodies also match the levels found in patients who have recovered after contracting the virus. Government officials have warned that producing a vaccine that will be widely available could take a year to 18 months. However, the company has said that it is proceeding on an accelerated timetable with the next phase involving 600 people to begin soon. According to Moderna's chief medical officer, if the trials go well, a vaccine could become available for widespread use by the end of this year or early 2021. There is no proven treatment or vaccine against the coronavirus at this time. A new survey conducted by Global Strategy Group for two equal rights organizations, Color of Change and Unidos U.S., found Black and Latino business owners are struggling to get government assistance under the Paycheck Protection Program, and many have said that they are on the brink of closing permanently. The survey found only 12% of small business owners who applied for government-backed loans in the $650 billion program reported receiving what they had asked for, and nearly half of all owners said they anticipate having to permanently close in the next six months. By comparison, in a survey of, of small businesses by the Census Bureau from April 26 to May 2nd, three quarters said they had asked for loans and 38% of them said they had received one. The results suggest that the historically weak relationships between minority business owners and banks are making it harder for them to get access to the aid program. The second round of funding for the loan program set aside $60 billion for small and rural banks and nonprofit lenders, which often tend to do more work with minority communities than large banks do. According to government officials, Japan has fallen into a recession for the first time since 2015 after its already weakened economy was dragged down by the coronavirus' impact on businesses at home and abroad. The country, whose economy is the world's third largest after that of the United States and China, shrank by an annualized rate of 3.4% in the first three months of the year. Japan is the largest economy to officially enter a recession, often defined as two consecutive quarters of negative growth. Despite signs of success in fighting the coronavirus, the world's third largest economy will struggle for months to come as it tries to reopen for business. That's a look at today's news for MCTV. I'm Olivia Bicomo. Reporting from Austin, Texas, I'm Madison Harton, and this is your MCTV weather update. Well, it is going to be a very sunny week out there on the South Plains with a little bit of rain in our forecast for later in the week. But looking into today, we can see we have a high temperature of 99 degrees. We're going to hit that about 5 p.m. today. A mix of clouds and sunshine and a southerly wind coming at 10 to 15 miles per hour. For tonight, the temperature is going to drop back down to 67 degrees. Some clouds this evening giving way to clear skies and a southeasterly wind coming at 10 to 15 miles per hour. 
Looking into the next couple days, we will see for Tuesday, we have a high of 97 degrees, a low of 63, sunny with a few afternoon clouds, and a south by southeasterly wind coming at 15 to 25 miles per hour. For Wednesday's morning, we're going to be seeing our rain chances. It's going to be cloudy that day, with a 30% chance of rain for the Lubbock metropolitan area. 86 degrees is our high, 62 is our low, and an east by southeasterly wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. And then for Thursday, we're going to be seeing a high of 96 degrees, a low of 61, mainly sunny, and a south southwesterly wind coming at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it looks like you all are going to be having a very sunny week out there on the South Plains. I wish I was getting to experience it for myself, but awesome weather has been treating me very nicely here. For, for MCTV weather, I'm Madison Harden. Be sure to check ttohub.net every day for more weather updates.